gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJ A9ZT, and we're back with WWE Champions in another special four-star gold character gameplay preview video. And this time, we got Ted DiBiase NWO, the brand new one. I know I'm a little late to the party with this preview, but I still wanted to get it out to you guys. Uh, you know the world's kind of in shambles right now, and I'm going to be honest with you, uh, I kind of just forgot it, but like, I was really busy the first day, and I knew my video was going to be late. And I had to get polls done, and every time, like, I went to record, like, I'd forget what it was that was so important that I had to do. And then I realized, uh, when I looked at my roster, I still had Ted. I'm like, oh my goodness, I haven't even done this yet. So, let me get this done, and, uh, here we go. So, let's go back and look. He's, uh, nothing fancy about him there. Just straight up DiBiase in an NWO shirt and suit. Nothing flips around when i spin him around so you know that ain't cool but anyways let's get into the poster training ability black moves start with more move points two more at 5k and then at 9k black moves start with two green moves start with one so that's pretty cool an alternate black move point trainer when you get into feuds where you're running like nine people like this could actually be helpful well i mean perks kind of null these anyways but you know what I'm saying. It'll help you use some secondary people without having to move that move point trainer back and forth. So getting a second move point trainer will be actually pretty good for a lot of people. Especially if you're using that uh, black move point trainer on somebody whose other move is green. You know? Then you'll get the extra point on that as well. <clears throat> He's got two move sets, really. I'm just going to run through them. One's going to use these three moves. One's going to use the other three moves. So... Okay, let me go back and look and see what... If you go to the moves list in the poster, this will show you the original order of the moves. So if we go down and look at the backbreaker down here, the purple move, that was our four-star move. A lot of people be like, why can't you show three-star builds first? This right here, this would be the three-star build, okay? Because you're going to have all three of these moves unlocked at three-star. So this is going to be the three-star build right here. We'll also work at four star as I'm going to show you. It's just the other move set's probably more optimal, but we'll see how this goes. So we got the finisher, black move, diving elbow drop. Deal 41,125 damage plus 6512 bonus damage for every immobile gem and pin the opponent. We got the belly to back suplex, yellow move, five charge, deal 7,088 damage and choose one gem to make into black gem. Then we got the Pile Driver, Black Move, 8 Charge, deal 19,142 damage, and choose five gem, or 4 gems to make into Immobile Gems. So, you're going to make Immobile Gems, those are going to buff the finisher, you're going to choose Black, try to fill your other moves up, bada bing, bada boom. So, let's get into the Entourage. We got Orndorff on there, and mine's not maxed yet, he could create 4, so it would be choose 8 to make into Immobile Gems. We're only choosing 7, but uh, we got Titus. Moves that generate black gems will create four more black gems. So, he's going to choose five on that move now, which still isn't fantastic. But at choose one, it's going to be absolutely useless. So, if you're not running Titus on here. And the good news about that move and why it's so few gems, I would think, is to balance the fact that it's only a five charge. So, that's why we got this 9k Rikishi on here. Matching yellow gems charge that move by one more move point. So any turn you break yellow, you're hitting that choose move on the next turn every single time. So you're always looking to break yellow. Then I got six on there. Reduce opponent sub moves by three. So we're going to get out here and see how this goes. No move point trainer. That's one plus about this set. Saves you from rotating a little bit. But we're going to go out here, match 178 hell mode against gold dust for one, because we got a sub reduce coach on and we're not worried about his submission. It'll kind of null it. And two, I need green TP right now. So two birds, one stone. I can make a preview and I can farm at the same exact time. Although it's not going to be really farming because I'm going to put his ass down if I can. I ain't playing around for loot boxes, yo. Anyways, uh, yellow is going to be charged anyways because I got tour perks on. I'll preface this by saying I got tour perks on. I can't shut them off. So I would break yellow usually turn one. But since we got tour perks on and they're kind of the culture now, let's just go ahead and break the black on turn one. I ain't hiding from tour perks anymore, guys. It's just not going to happen. Let's go ahead. Seven gems to make into immobile gems. We want to stay away from what we're trying to break on our choose move. So we also want these to stay on the board. Okay, those are immobile. 
Now we're going to choose five black. That's a column break. That'll give me a yellow. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I don't want to break the mobile gems, so it's kind of tough. I didn't look at that before. I, I kind of played it wrong. It's kind of... He's a thinking man's guy. Anyways, let's just go with some heavy damage here. Let's just break a bunch of black. There we go. We got a yellow to fall anyways, baby. <laughs> Crushed him. Crushed him. Look at that. Big damage. Gold Dust almost didn't kick out already. Big damage with the choose black moves. Here we go again. Let's put his ass down. Let's put some more immobile gems out. Let's just see what we're rocking with here. So we had four. We're going to have 11 immobile gems down. I'm just keeping them down low because I don't want them to get broken. We're trying to stack these MFers up. How many charge is that one? Eight charge. Can I get eight with this right now? See if we can get another one without cascading and pinning him. So that's three, six, seven, eight, nine. Please don't cat. It's going to drop that purple in, isn't it? Woo! We made it. We made it. This is going to put his ass down for sure. Look at that. We hardly lost any health, too. Hundred and eighty K, can we do that? We're probably gonna crush over hundred and eighty K. Pop No, we didn't. One fifty eight, and he can't move any of those gems down there, so that makes it a little harder to kick out too. Absolutely thwomped him. Let me get some loot boxes though. I need some green TP. There we go. There we go. Come on. Alright, we're taking two. Hopefully we get a green TP in there. Nope. Nope. We're going to roll it again. We're going to roll back to backs. If I'm not changing more than two movesets, I'm going to do two matches on each one, especially when they're quick, because I also want to show that it's not fluky. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to go back to full health just because we want to make sure that we're checking how much we lost. Or that was a three health pack win. So that's pretty good in terms of this. A lot of mediocre players using maybe like eight to nine health packs a match when i make these previews so three there is a pretty good pace okay there's no black there but we'll take the yellow oh he's hitting early this time he's getting it we didn't let him hit a move last time that's what happened he got his break this time Just take the damage here. Pop! 94k there. Not bad. So we'll see what happens here. The good news is against an opponent like Gold Dust, even when he puts these bots down, like I can change him to immobile and take him off the board. something i like about ted he's versatile he can he can control a lot of things i have no yellow break on the board so all right let's just hit the normal here now mind you it would be one more than that because i don't have my orndorff max so what do we do on that one? 94k? It would have been at 100k. It'd be a 100k finish if I had a Max Orndorff. Yeah, get all that cascading out of the way. Okay, he got his break this time. So last time was the lucky match. We'll see how many health packs this costs. So. But you see on a good board there, you could put him down to the ground. Oh, we straight out. We got that striker power. Ooh, and we got a yellow match, so... Yellow match fills the move every single time. You could break yellow every turn, hit that choose move every single turn all game. Uh, 
There we go. He's going to get a chance to kick out. Oh, no, he's not, because I still got some at the bottom. This is a game set match for you, Tedward. Good night. First off, I also want to say, like, Ted never wrestled in the OWO, man. I never seen him in the ring like this. We should get Bischoff if we're getting this version of Ted. Give us Eric Bischoff, uh, the karate man or something, and have him do his stupid little karate kicks. <laughs> Hit the like button on this video if you want to see Eric Bischoff in this game. That's what I'm saying. Alright, so both move sets work. Let's see what the health pack count was. 11, so that wasn't great. Although you've seen the spectrum of it, you can end it fast, or you can end it pretty fast. Use a couple health packs. So let's switch some moves out here. We're going to do a complete overhaul on the moves here. And we're going to go with the other three. So now we're running two purples and the other yellow. So the purple moves, we got the running clothesline, seven charge. Deal 12,358 damage and choose a three by two area to swap to yellow gems. And then we got the Backbreaker 8 Charge, deal 15,453 damage, modify a 1x7 random area into Immobile Gems. Now remember that, because then we got a yellow move, the Suplex 9 Charge, deal 14,954 damage, and make 8 Immobile Gems into Purple Gems. The pin bar will not move. So, here's the flow. You're going to hit the running clothesline. Bam, you're going to choose the purple. Now, if you hit the running clothesline, you probably already filled the Backbreaker. So the first purple move is going to fill the yellow move. Then you want to hit the backbreaker. You're going to modify an area into immobile gems. Then you're going to use the suplex to turn those immobile gems back into purple gems. And that's going to start the chain over again and the pin meter don't move. So when you hit that, you're going to hit three moves in one turn this way. So we're going to get rid of Orndorff. Or wait, let's see what that was. Yeah, that's not even going to help, though. Okay, we need to get rid of him. And I know everybody's going to yell at me if I don't sort it. I got it, guys. Okay, we want the purple move point trainer on him. And then beyond that, like, you're already making more immobile gems into purple than you're already creating. So there's no reason to do more unless you win against another person who is using immobile gems against you then you would certainly use Orndorff as your second because it would make sense. At this point, it's not going to make sense. Uh, you could use a yellow move point trainer here, but that ain't going to make sense because the purple move is going to fill your yellow move, like, most certainly. Uh, so you don't want Titus on there. So I'm the, it's either going to be purple move damage or purple gem damage. Or yellow gem damage for that matter because you're choosing an area to yellow but you're gonna get that line into purple and purple is your dominant color anyways so let's see Shelton could get us 20% on purple I know my okay rock can get us 30 let's see if I got a purple higher than 30 no okay I know I know I gotta get rock going here purple gems do 30% more let's do that so now Purple Gem's doing 45-65. I mean, man, I'm confusing my... I said Purple was the dominant color just because I'm using this moveset. Like, he is a striker still, but... Uh, man, it's not even his second best color. You know what? His yellow is higher, so let's let's do that. Let's buff that yellow. Because I think we're going to get more damage out of it. Yeah, we got to get... Oh, come on! <laughs> If there was a purple and yellow gem damage trainer, I'd probably do that. Because it'd be for both. Purple and red. There's so many of them trainers that I can't keep them straight. Okay. Well, we'll put matcha on there. Okay. Now his yellow gems are doing 6,000 apiece. So I almost messed that one all up. I don't know why. I just got into looking at it and building it there. And I was thinking I was running a trickster because I was using two purple. So I'm like, purple's the dominant color. Like, 
it's not black still is dominant color yellow's right there with him though this is what i do to my vince mcmahon because he makes an area into yellow so i use macho man on him for that move and then i put a strap on him that does nothing but buff all the yellow gems whoo vince be nasty boy all right let's get out here with the second move set and uh let's see if we can get at least one green tp out of this we'll do two matches here but i'm pretty optimistic that this is going to be that set though this is going to be that set that first set wasn't bad, but I think this is going to work better. Alright, so we got perks on. So we're just going to go ahead and smack him with the running clothesline here on turn one. Move point trainer and perks. So I could have taken the move point trainer off, used the perks, and then put the move damage and the gem damage, or did two gem damage on there, but... Let's do that... That's nice right there. Oh, that was nice. Okay, so let's go. Modify a 1x7 area into E-Mobile Gems. Bop. Okay, now watch this. Make 80 Mobile Gems into Purple Gems. The pin meter will not move. Purples are full. Remember, pin meter don't move. So let's go ahead and make another area into yellow gems. This is that set, though. This is that set. This is that turn one farming set right here. You do it right. Get lucky. Yeah, get lucky on Cascades sometimes. But now it's just like every turn. This is the Recycle King setup right here. <laughs> so much fun. And go back, choose that area into yellow. We got a lot of room to work with here, so... Oh, but that's... Look at this one. Bop! This Ted is actually pretty excellent with this set y'all excellent with this set and good night good night he's just overwhelming look at that still going still going the same turn Pounded him. That's a one health pack right there. That's a one health pack right there. And I don't want to hear nothing about like picking a weak opponent there. If you think that wouldn't have just happened to Seth Rollins right there, you're out of your mind. You're out of your mind. That's the recycled king right there. You're going to overwhelm anybody with that. No green TP still. Get it together here. I was trying to get a 10 bag or something out of this. We're going to do one more here. One more and just nail him with that move set again. Look, I'm not even going to use the health. We lost 2,000 health in that match, guys. 2,000 health. I mean, it's probably like 3,000, but by the time you get back to the lobby, you've already recovered a little bit of it, so... Remember, without perks, all it takes is one purple match to start this up. So I'm started on turn one with perks. Without perks, this would all this chain would start on turn two, anyways. Man, if you had a strap on him with yellow move damage buffed out, ooh, this guy would be absolutely nasty. He'd definitely be stronger than Vince at that point. I would switch. Vince is my main man, but. He needs a little luck on the board for him to be effective like this. This is just crazy strength. The fact that the pin meter doesn't move there and you're hitting this choose area into yellow twice a turn, that's nuts. Oh, let's throw a black match in there for good measure. Look at that one, 143. You strap that one up right there, we'd have been doing 200k. He can't touch me. He cannot even touch me. I 
I guess if he'd have got a green match, he would have got something in, but... Anybody that needs a match, anybody with eight charge moves or more than that, like, you're gonna absolutely crush them. Pop! Yeah, we don't even need nothing but that right there, ladies and gentlemen. Good night, Gold Dust. Now give me my green TP. It was a slow start in this video, guys, but I hope you've seen the true power of DiBiase on here with that second set. I wanted to go ahead and throw out to the three-star people how they're going to do it. But if you stuck around for move set two, you've seen something special today for sure. No green TP. I could have went against Rollins or somebody else then, but going against Rollins with this... He wouldn't have stood even a chance at all because I'd have had the class advantage. So we would have completely crushed him with gem damage at that point. So I don't know, man. I really like DiBiase. I pulled for him. You'll see the polls. I don't know which video is coming out first. I don't want to spoil it right now in case I haven't shown it. But uh, I did my polls for him. I did my polls for him. So, yeah. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, take one second right now. Scroll down here. Subscribe to the channel. Drop an insane elbow on the like button while you're down there. That stuff helps me out so much, guys. Leave comments. If I don't always respond to them, I assure you that I read them all. So, I do pay attention to that. I just don't always have time to reply back to all these people every single day. So, leave me the comments. I do love to read them. I reply back to them. If I notice you've been commenting a lot, I will always try to reach back out to you. Uh, so, yeah. I don't know, guys. Just stay tuned. I got a lot of comment coming out. I ain't got uh, a lot of content coming out. I ain't got much else better to do at this point. So expect the videos. Till next time, guys. Peace.